You know, I hate televisions, Liz. You know, that's irrational. I hate the people who own televisions. You know, I mean, they could actually do without water or gas or oxygen, but you try taking their tellies away from them for a night. Oh, God. Where's your kit? All right, I'll stand a cup marshal to my jean to dry, George. What a sight. Oh, I'm late. I said I'd help Deirdre with the leafleting. What are you doing today? Why? I want you to do me a favour. Will you nip round to your grands with some money? Oh, why can't Andy do it? Hey, because she's asking you to, all right? Give him a tenner, will you, Jim? All right, I'll do it. She won't be in till dinner. Tell her that's all I can let her have. Oh, and will you have a look at that cistern for her? She reckons the overflow's stuck or something. That's the log. Are you listening? Sorry, I'm late. I missed the bus. Waited ages for another one, so I decided to walk back. Did you? Yeah, Gran went in when I got there, so I sat on the doorstep for the best part of an hour. I didn't mind that. It's just a woman two doors down. Kept waiting on about a garden, wanting to sort in it out. So... You liar. You haven't been. Yeah, I have. Straight away, you can ring it if you don't believe we it. We already have. If you breathe one more word of a lie, I'll make you regret it, son. I rang her at four. You still hadn't turned up. I mean, and you were seen with your wee girlfriend from down the road in the park. Now, what does that make you, Steve? You've lied to your mother. You've let your grandmother down. And not content with that, you start trying to bull your way out of it as if it's second nature to you. Well, not in this house. Jim. Go on, get upstairs before I lose me bap. Oi. Where's the tenor for your grandmother? Gonna put round there with it tonight. She needed it this afternoon. Oh, go on, get out of my sight. <sighs> you told him, didn't you? You followed me, and you are. God, you're so thick. They didn't need telling. Anyone else could have pulled that one off, no problem, but you. <laughs> what and save you the pleasure of grassing now? This way is more fun, Andy. See, this way I know we're getting to you. But I was fair in love more, kiddo. Yeah, fair if you win, you mean. So? So, you ain't interested in Joanne at all. The only reason you wanted her was because I got there first, and you can't stand that, can you? All right, then, if you say so. Yeah, I do say so. So as far back as I can remember, you've pulled that one. In the army, Germany, Cyprus, here. Never changed, do you? Give you a big kick, does it, Grassy? Little Steve, Big Steve, he's no difference. I want, I want. Never grow up, will you? Looking up to Dad. Yeah, well, you should know. You spend that much time looking up to him, you're starting to spend the same lines. I am, I'm gonna be. Quit raising your mummy's boy. You're too thick to realise what other people think about you. All they see is a bit of a kid that stamps his feet till he gets what he wants. You want to know how much of a clown you really are? Yeah. It's better than being a jerk who has to get A's in every subject. You know, you ought to do something about that, Andy, because it makes you look boring and unattractive to women. Well, that's what I say. That's what Joanne said anyway. You know what else she said? She said you were a creep. What are you going to do about that? 